Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie Heyman and we're crafting with the kids today, making fun little rafts out of popsicle sticks. So grab your supplies and we're gonna craft. So when I was asking my kids about projects that they thought were good for other kids to know about, this was my youngest's favorite project ever, so he told me I had to do this. So we're gonna take our popsicle sticks, and basically I'm just going to make my base frame here for my raft. So you can either, if the kids are doing it, you can have them use just some Elmer's glue. I'm using tacky glue um, for this. If you're okay with the kids using tacky glue, you can use that too. And all they have to do is put a bead of glue down their popsicle stick. And then they're just going to start building the bottom of their raft and laying in their sticks. Now, my kids race these um, and do all sorts of crazy, silly things with them. So they'll build these. This is very basic. My kids go super nuts. When you just give them the idea and they start to build, that's where the fun happens. So. I'm just building a very basic popsicle raft here. Okay, so now I've got my first layer down and I'm gonna repeat this process. I'm gonna put a bead of glue here and here, lay back over my support sticks and then build another crisscross layer like that. And then you have a nicely supported and pretty sturdy popsicle stick raft. My kids like to get the ones that are brightly colored. You can get those if you want to. But I also like giving them the opportunity to paint these or use their crayons on them once they're dry. But they do make all those brightly colored popsicle sticks and those are lots of fun. So now we've got that layer done and I'm just gonna put one more brace layer across the top and my raft is basically done. After this becomes the, the fun part that the kids like the most. So there's your basic raft. You wanna let that dry. But the other thing you can do is create a little sail if you want to put on your raft and it's gonna go right in here. So what I usually do is take the popsicle stick. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. And I take a second popsicle stick and just cut it in half. The kids will break them. They'll use their kid scissors on them. It's fine. And then I've got some really fun duct tape that's like small mini duct tapes. And they just start duct taping on their popsicle sticks and create their sails. Now, you have to be prepared that they like duct tape and they're going to use a lot of it. So just know that ahead of time. And mine's much neater than my boys ever turn out, but mine probably doesn't work nearly as well as theirs does either, because they do great, great ones. And then you just kind of make another piece here for the top of your sail and just duct tape it on. My youngest often asks for duct tape for his birthday for Christmas. So he just has rolls and rolls of it. And with all the different patterns and fun designs, he makes everything out of duct tape. So it's a great little craft item to have laying around the house. So now it's just a matter of filling in your sail and just kind of wrapping it around here. I'm just gonna keep wrapping it on and covering it up. So, do a piece here, like that. Maybe do another one up here, cover that part up. However you wanna do it. However they wanna do it, I guess I should say. I mean, you can make one too, but technically it's meant for the kids, but I will say I have fun. Whenever they're creating, I end up creating with them. So there we go, we've got our little sail all built. So now it's gonna go, let me move this back over. 
it's going to go right in here. So I'm going to trim the end off so that it's flat and not round when I go to put it in there. So I'll put some glue basically here and here and put it right in there. And then to help hold it up, this is where it gets tricky. So I'm going to do a couple things here with my hands. I'm going to put some glue onto another popsicle stick and kind of brace my sail in right like that. And then I'll sheet even more because that's what happens when I put it together. I'm going to actually take a couple pieces of the duct tape and use that to hold the sticks in place while everything dries. Now you can leave the duct tape if you just like the way it looks. If not, you can remove it when it's done. But then that holds the sticks where they need to be. And you can even, if you wanted to, take a piece down from the side like this to hold it up. This one seems to be doing okay, but you can do that to kind of brace it as well. And then once it's all dry, you can either take that off, or you can leave it if you like how it looks, and you'll have a raft ready to race. Well, I hope you and your kids had as much fun making your rafts as I did making mine. You can just set them sail and let the kids have some fun. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up, and thanks for stopping by the Fave Craft Studio.